This time Russell's pan searing some mahi mahi and topping it off with the vibrant flavors of roasted salsa verde. And uh, so why don't we get started? You can tell us all about it. Well, we're gonna start with the fish. We've got a couple of uh, components to this dish, but we're gonna start with the fish. I've got my pan on medium high and I have a beautiful six ounce filet of mahi mahi. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna season it simply with some salt, fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna season both sides of my fish. And a little bit of our pan searing flour. And, and that does what for that, it? That's just gonna give us a little bit of protection in the pan and it's also gonna develop a very nice crust. So I've okay. got about a tablespoon of pure olive oil in the pan. Mm -hmm. It's going to go right in the pan. And now we're going to let the pan do the work. We don't want to mess with it. We're just going to let it sit there and let it. We're looking for that paper bag brown. And while that's cooking, we can get started on the corn. OK. Now this is called Cuban style corn. Tell me why it's called Cuban style. Well, we're actually going to broil it in the oven. Yeah. And then I'm going to brush it with mayonnaise, oh. um, sprinkle it with some barbecue seasoning, and just squeeze some fresh lime. But before we do that, right. we're going to season it with some basting oil. Mm -hmm which has you know the flavors of the garlic and the thyme and the parsley. So we're just going to sprinkle that, or you could brush it right over the top. All right. And I've got my oven set on broil, and I've got my rack oh. set about six inches. All right. How long does this take all It's going to take about 10 or 12 minutes. We're going to get it in there. We're going to let it start browning. Pretty and fast. I'm going to get this in the oven now while our fish is cooking. All right. Get it right in the oven. And we'll let that broil for a little bit. I'll go back and check it in just a minute. We're going to check our fish, but also for a sauce, We've got our uh, salsa verde that we're just going to brighten up with uh, an avocado. Oh. And I want to show people how to uh, cut an avocado that's, first. That's a good idea. Let's take a look at that. Best thing to do is to go ahead and I take my knife and I'm just going to cut the long way. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn the avocado. Mm -hmm. And then is, I can just yeah. twist it right off twist just like right that. Off. This is a Haas avocado, by the way. That's right. Um, and they're very buttery and creamy and rich um, and um, our favorites. And they're easy to get ripe, which I think is great. Yeah, they're you almost have to always ripe. Watch now. for them to turn black because they turn actually from green to black, and that's when you know that they're ripe. You have to Correct. give it a little squeeze, too. Correct. But. Uh, and a real easy way to get the pit out, what I do, you can dig it out with a spoon if you like. Uh -huh. I just like to take the blade of my knife, being very careful. Put it in there, <laughs> yeah. twist, there you go. and then you can just take a kitchen towel and it'll pull right off. Okay. And then a great way to get the flesh out is I just take a larger, like a soup spoon, mm -hmm. and I just scoop it right out. Scoop it right out there. Just like that. And I'm going to dice this up into one inch pieces and then we're going to mix it with some of our uh, salsa verde. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Let's take a minute and talk about salsa verde. This is our um, Food You Feel Good About Roasted Salsa Verde, and the main ingredient in Salsa Verde is this little thing called a tomatillo. Um, it's actually sometimes referred to as a little green tomato or a husk tomato, and um, it's used sometimes raw in salsas, but uh, in this case, it's cooked as a main ingredient for, for this sauce. That's right. And this, this is a really just, it's different than the red salsa that people are yeah, used to. Yeah, right. It's not the typical salsa you would That's think correct. of. correct. And, and this is a very simple recipe. I've got my one avocado, and I'm just going to squeeze the juice of one lime. Uh -huh. Sort right. of to enhance the flavor? Bring enhance out a the bit. flavor. Well, sure. Avocados are so creamy. Yeah. So you get a little bite from the lime, and it's mm -hmm. also going to keep that nice green color that we like. Absolutely. And for one avocado, we're just going to use half a jar of our salsa verde. Right. And then we simply mix that up. And this is something, again, you can do ahead of time. Uh -huh. And we like to cut the avocado into larger pieces so we've got some texture to it. Okay. Or you could even mash the avocados, right, and turn that into a guacamole sure. for a real authentic Mexican style guacamole. Certainly you could. Okay, now if you can hand me a plate, we're actually going to put sure. some of this right on top of there. And this is a great do ahead. Perfect. And now it's time to flip our fish and see if we've got that color. We're looking for what we call paper bag brown. And we know that crust has developed when we've got those beautiful colors. And it's just going to take a couple more minutes on this one side. Okay. We're going to add some butter, a tablespoon of basting oil. oil. We've got those beautiful herbs in there that we like so much. Mm. And then I'm going to do just what the recipe says. I'm going to tilt my pan, and I'm just going to baste this beautiful mahi-mahi with the butter. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I think mahi-mahi is such a forgiving fish, but I'm not sure people really know what it's all about. I, okay. I don't think it's, it's a usual fish. So. Well, let's talk a little bit about mahi mahi then. Uh, mahi mahi is wild caught. Um, in our summer months, it's off the coast of Carolinas. Right. Mahi mahi actually is the Hawaiian name for strong, strong is what it means. It's okay. sometimes called dolphin fish, but it isn't dolphin. It's just that the this species is such a strong swimmer, um, like a dolphin. Right. So that's why it got its name. 
from. And it's actually a very lean fish, um, has a little bit of firmness to it, not quite as much as um, a steak fish. Right. Uh, flaky, moist, right. um, but very holds forgiving. together very, yes, very forgiving, holds That's together right. very well while you're so looking at You're going to baste it for just a couple of minutes and we're looking for a temperature of 130 degrees and we want to insert our thermometer into the thickest portion of the fish and we'll just give it a second, make sure we're up to temperature and then we're going to let it rest while we check our corn. Okay. And, and we're right where I need to be. So I'm actually going to remove this from the heat. Mm -hmm. I could turn the heat off and I'm going to go to the oven. I'm going to check on our corn and I can show you what that looks like when it comes out of the broiler. It's beautiful. And again, this is going to take about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, but what you're looking for is this beautiful, it almost looks like it was done on the grill. And while it's it still does. warm, this is, when we, this is where the Cuban part this comes in. This is where the mayonnaise comes in. We're going to brush it with mayonnaise, which right. is going to melt, uh -huh. almost like butter would. Same idea, but it's also going to act as a little bit of an adhesive because we're going to sprinkle it with some barbecue spice. Ah. And then I'm going to squeeze it with some fresh lime just right at the end. Mm. And we're going to be ready to go. So I've got that. Go. I've got some of our barbecue spice. I'll just go ahead and season that up, and that almost gives you a, a little bit of a smoky taste to it as well as the broiling. And it's a little bit of sweet because we have brown sugar. And then just to kick it all off, take a lime. Nice contrast and flavors going on here. Right, and what you can do too, you can do it up to this point without the lime, and you can give all your guests just little wedges of lime right at the table if they like. Mm -hmm. You want to serve it hot though? Or yeah, definitely, definitely want to serve really it hot. hot. We'll want take a piece of fish. I'm just going to set it right on top of that salsa verde, just okay. lean it on there. A piece of our hot corn, set it right next to it. Oh. I, I just think that's a perfect summertime seafood dish. Says so so it. Does it for me. Can seared mahi mahi with uh, Cuban oven roasted corn and uh, avocado salsa verde. All right, let's Tell give it a think. try. Well, I'm going to eat the corn. You eat that. I think this is great. Mm. I'm going for the corn it's too. Delicious. <laughs> right now.